If you're owing three pounds, that's why it's negative, but you've got two pounds on you. If you pay off two pounds, you will still be owing one pound. So because you're owing is a negative one. You're owing three pounds, you're owing another person two pounds. In total, you're owing five pounds because your owing is a negative five. You're owing 24 pounds, you're owing another person four pounds. In total, you're owing 28 pounds. So you're owing 24 pounds, but you've got four pounds on you. That's why it's a positive four. If you pay off four pounds, you will still be owing 20 pounds because your owing is a negative 20. It's good to have you back after watching the first part of my video on adding and subtracting negatives. Um, the other part of my video, you can actually go to your YouTube channel, set for mass future vibes, and you will see adding and subtracting negatives on there as well. Um, in the second part of this video, which you're going to watch in a moment, you will see more of adding and subtracting negatives. And this, is, this will be for the higher tier uh, paper uh, or higher tier students. Another thing I need you to know is that you need to press that subscribe button, the red button, so that we can be motivated to get more videos out there for you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. They had adding and subtracting negatives now when you have two signs next to each other like this that shouldn't be happening in mathematics so you've got to make them one symbol and when you have the same it goes to plus so this becomes minus three plus four which becomes so you're owing three pounds you've got four pounds on you if you pay off your three pounds you still got one pound with you the one pound is yours, so it's a positive one or just one. Here, you've got two signs next to each other, which shouldn't be happening in mathematics. So because they are different and not same, when they're different eyes, it becomes a negative. So this becomes a negative three, negative four. Now, you're owing three pounds, you're owing four pounds, in total you're owing seven. Because you're owing, it becomes a negative seven, and that will be the answer to that one as well. Here, you have two signs next to each other. It shouldn't be happening in mathematics. The two signs are the same. You make it a positive. So this becomes three, add four, which is seven, and this is then seven as well. Here, you've got two signs which are next to each other. It shouldn't be happening. So a positive and a negative becomes a negative. So this is three negative or three minus four. Now this three is a positive number. So you've got three pounds on you. You're owing four pounds. If you pay off your uh, three, if you pay off your four pounds from your three pounds, you will still be owing one pound. So that will be negative one because you're still owing. So that's negative one as well. So I'm gonna use a different color pen to make sure we are highlighting how we arrive at the answers here. So I'm just gonna do that as well here, okay? And, the la and this one, positive three means you've got three pounds on you. Positive and positive is same eyes, so it's a positive. Just like same eyes here, you've got positive. So this becomes a three add four which is just seven. This is positive. This is just normal three. And then you add four and you get seven. And the last one, you've got three pounds on you. Remember, even if there is no positive in front of it, it shows that your three is actually with you. You've got three pounds with you. If you're owing four pounds, pay the three pounds, you will still be owing a pound after you pay off the three pounds that you've got on you. So because you're still owing one pound after paying three pounds, it will be a negative one. Negative because you're still owing. Take note of these emojis as they will help you eventually when you're adding and subtracting negatives. Bye-bye.